Hello everyone, I'm Cam K and welcome back to Ancient Enemy. And let's just jump right into it and continue where we left off in chapter 4. Well, let's go here. Very purple. These enclaves echo with the good intentions of the people who visited them. There is a deep history here, and its vibrations have filtered into the very bedrock. With my art, I shall draw upon that power. Okay. Uh -huh. I can't do anything with an eight. <laughs> Uh, but I could use one of my worm cards, I guess. Mm. Let's do this. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well. Guess that, I guess. Well, that didn't help at all. So, let's do... Huh? Hmm. Well, didn't help much, but... It is some. Something. Something, something. Uh... Anything there or there? Uh, okay, well, got a fungal spore. Okay, nice, <laughs> I guess. See how this goes. Okay, a bloated boar, and I have a nine health. <laughs> okay, resistant to poison and fungal spores. Well, I wasn't going to use any fungal spores, or poison for that matter. Okay, well. And okay, toxic strike. Oh, well, it's physical, so yeah. Let's fight. Okay. Uh, that's five, right? Oh, 
six. Damn. Okay, well. <coughs> oh boy. Hmm. And I could do that, but. Or do that. I mean, I feel like I kind of need to. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Well, we've got a zero. There, gotta go with some more damage. <coughs> well, oh, I can do that. <coughs> totally did not pay attention to that one. Okay. That's, that's what the fungal spores do. He weakened the enemy. Alright. The malevolent river is slow, but uncrossable. I can only hope that the bridge remains intact. Even with my power, there is nothing I can do to cross the plagued waters which lie between me and the enemy lands beyond. I guess this is what a river looks like in cards. Okay, well. Hmm. Uh. Get rid of those at least. Let's go for that one. Huh? Turns out it was a good choice. Doesn't really help me. Then the ones that are upturned right now don't really help either, so I mean, I can't really make a good combo with them. I 
guess that helps a little bit. that one. Let's do that then. Okay. <sighs> uh, honestly, I just want to check my inventory. Unfortunately, I don't have any more healing potions. Hmm. Could do that. I definitely don't want to marsh gas. So yeah, maybe clarity. I should have known that the enemy would not leave a crossing unguarded. Even with all my people in the ground, a lieutenant of evil awaits me. Welcome, brother. We shall dance together this day. And even if you defeat me, a legion of my kind awaits you. Forgive yourself, slave of the night. I shall be your undoing. Okay. Fated Colonel. Resistant to ice, dark, bleed, poison, and pierce. Okay, so I can remove the marsh thing. I could use the fire. So, let's remove the uh, marsh gas because I won't be able to poison him. Could do that one. That could work. Or we just do... Mm. Let's do fungal spores. What do you have? You have physical damage... Physical damage and magic. Okay. And blocks physical damage. Okay. 
Well... Uh, mostly does physical damage. So I think I'll keep that. And I think I'll keep that. Not a fan of being on kind of low health, but can't really do anything about that. Okay, we're gonna do dexterous sound. Action cards require less charge. Uh, well, I mean. I feel like I should do that too then. Or similar. Okay. <sighs> Not really a good start, but. Let's do 15 damage. I'm down to 6 health, but still. And now you're gonna do both, okay. Magic attack and hammer of the gods removes targeted playable card and up to two nearby random playable cards. Okay. The bridge stands. It will not stand much longer, but what remains will be enough to get me to the uh, far bank. As much as nature protects and nurtures us, it also offers the power. As much as nature protects and nurtures us, it also offers the power of its poisons. No mage can ignore that potency. Okay, well, what do we have to choose from? Will for five physical damage, poison if combo ten. Okay. Shake for 5 physical damage, debuff enemy attack if combo 10, and curse. Torment for 5 dark magic damage and increased power of skull cards by 1 per use. Hmm. Yeah. Let's buy that. Eight hundred? Eh, not sure. 
what do we have here? Pillars of Order changes the suit of all playable cards to match the targeted playable card. Okay. Northern Gale removes two random playable cards from the playfield. That's expensive though. I don't know. Healing elixirs restore an extra 15% of maximum health. Recover one health after each fight. Ooh. Honestly? Yeah, let's do that. Deal one extra damage with your dagger. Ooh. That'll be nice. Okay, well, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!